Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I keep thinking that it is Thursday, but it's not. It's only Wednesday, which is fine because it is riding lessons day with the Barn Boots girls. So today we're doing something super fun. I'm gonna clean up the poop in the arena. So I had an idea of what I wanted to do today and then Sophie and I was so busy getting stuff done and then Sophie's like, I'm just gonna go down and do it. And I said, okay, you go down and do it. And she made up her own ideas and her own plan. I'm gonna go with it. It's different than what I was gonna do. But I love to see them like thinking about doing their own thing and planning it all out. So today, I wanted to video it. How, where were they when they bolted? Close to the gate. They well, bolted when? They put them in the pool. Ooh, oh gosh, could you imagine them walking through a thing of balloons and they pop up? They would fly everywhere, yeah. yeah. Some of them would pop. So yeah, the horses would freak out for I sure. I they could get their foot on it enough to pop. Oh, yeah, and I don't want them to pop. See, it moves. So anyways, um, Gabby, can you cut these things off? We're gonna take the jump part down. No, I'm saying we can leave it. No. No, because we want them to walk through it. Yeah, Chino. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I don't think Chino yeah, could even. Put it underneath that. Should we yeah, move it up? Should we move it up? No. So it's higher. All right, he'll have to duck because we're gonna put. No, because we're gonna put balloons on that, so that they have to go through like a balloons. Come on, that's cool. <laughs> My fingers still hurt. Yeah, so we have two bags of balloons that we blew up this morning. Would okay, be Sophie blew up. You just put yeah, them on I. The sides of the standards and put the standards kind of close together so they have to walk through. That's true. So we're doing my way. For once in life. <laughs> For once in life, we're taking the baby's route. You're not a baby, but you're the baby of the family. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so let's take this one off or put it really low that they can just step on over it. Okay. I, want to it. I know, but I don't like that it's a jump and it doesn't fall down. I don't think that's safe. Cross country. I know, See? cross country. It just keeps building up, so it went. I put it oh. through, it looks cool. So uh, apparently Gracie and Willow saw the balloons already unbolted, but they haven't like officially seen them. So a comment below, who do you think is gonna be the most freaked out about the balloons? I already know for sure. Let me just say that the bigger the horse, the smaller their brain. No, just joking, that was mean. <laughs> but don't you guys find that like bigger horses, well I guess not really, because giraffes are, are so notorious for their calmness. You got it off already. Wow, you, that's the first thing you've done all year so fast. That's awesome, thank you. You're all covered in dirt now. Yeah, shout out to you, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Sophie. There's so many things that I have like on my list to do. I wanna like try a different kind of maze for Penny to push her ball around. I saw a video. Fillo, filler underneath the jump. Welcome, we are getting it on. This is, this is what we ended up. Way, this I is my... did all of this and it's good. Yeah, it's true. See, you should trust me more often. I know you're just like, eh, no. <laughs> popped it. That's the first one that popped. Popped it. I, I think it was Sophie with the wire. Here, let me hold it over here. Wait. No, I'm good. No, because it has to go over on the side like this. So pull it. it. Has to so right pull there. it. Yeah, pull it tight. Come wow. On, we are all a little grouchy, 13 year old almost. Yeah, I'm turning into a teenager. Yeah, you're, she's practicing, you guys. So basically, I thought of this idea after watching the extreme cowboy at the fair on the weekend. I thought of this at the fair. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> really? Gabby says as soon as she looked at the balloons, she's like, oh no, she's going to do this. Anyway, I love it. More yeah, I got four packs of balloons. Four. four. Because that's all they sold at the dollar store. Do a math. Do math, people. 15, 30, 60. Yeah. 60. 
This is not 60. Well, 59 now because you broke one. That is not 60. Oh, wait, we broke two. Oh, so for 50. So. 58 balloons. See, my kids can do math. Yeah, that's true. Okay, how fast do you forget? talking about this person and she says his name once and then like five minutes later she says his name again I'm like who's that <laughs> and she's still talking about the same person is she it a boy me. is it a boy I don't know his name still <laughs> before we get the ponies let's do oh, a disclaimer there's always someone who will say oh my gosh poor horses you showed them balloons walk trot or canter through it Sophie oh my, we'll be like canter <laughs> the truth is, we're not like throwing balloons at them, brand new things that they've never experienced, even though Gabby would. It is so good for horses, all animals actually, even children, to be exposed to so many things so that they are well-rounded and not spooky. I've always believed that with my kids. I've always believed that with our dogs. We've always tried to expose our dogs to things as puppies that we're, we're gonna have them do as adults. So if they're gonna go in the car a lot, then we took them in the car a lot as babies. So anyways, that's the disclaimer. We're gonna show our horses. No, she hogged all the balloons. So we are gonna bring our horses in, just like normal. And if they notice the balloons, great. If they don't, then that's fine. And then we're gonna work with some of them with the balloons. Actually, we're gonna see if we can get the horses to adapt, adjust to the balloons and then go through them. Chino's gonna be a chicken unless he has a halteron. That's okay. It's okay to be a chicken. Okay, Gabby thinks that her horse is gonna do this. Well, there's two options. Okay. I don't know, more like 18, but I'm not gonna list all of them. Um, <laughs> Most popular three. Or People actually hide behind you. That is so scary, man. No, he's done it before. He doesn't try to run you over. He gets scared and he hides behind you. And he's walking behind you. Yeah, like, that scares that, me. Because when you bolt off. Yeah, you're gonna. Scary. Yeah, I know. I don't like when horses do that either. I love the fence open to the field though. Like I'm gonna miss this soon. Sophie went to get them long ago. Hopefully she's not laying on the ground over there. That's what, how mother's brains think. When their kids don't show up when you expect them to, the mom's brain always goes to like the scariest scenario. Oh, they're coming. So Sophie is smart. She went to the leader. Come on, Gracie. Oh, look at Sophie's Boston Penny and she no, does not like it. No, she's looking. She's like, oh wait, it's Grain Bucket. Yeah, they know. They're they not know. dumb. They're like, it's not nighttime. Yeah, but I have a Grain Bucket. I know, but they don't care because they know you're not going to give it to them. She no cares. Look, Penny's not even running. <laughs> Alright, here they come. We've got the two best behaved. There's balloons inside. Hi. Hi. <laughs> She's like, I'll gobble up all these leaves quick. Oh, here come the two runners. Oh, look at how nice he runs with no person on him. Yesterday, we rode him up just a little tiny bit to see how he was doing with his feet, and he looked a little tiny bit foot sore to me under saddle, but he looks gorgeous without anybody on him. All right, let's go in and see what happens. The first horse. <laughs> All right, look. <laughs> They're not even noticing. Oh my goodness. Chino. <laughs> All right, Chino is gonna be the first one to take out the balloons. Like, whoa! <laughs> you think he'll walk under them? Poof, all the balloons are destroyed. Aww! Such 
such a good boy. He's a little jumpy. He's getting some dabbles. Don't bite them. We should not put the biting, the mouthing horse first. The bluebird causes withers. I don't think he's going to fit. Okay, now we yeah. got to put under it. Because there's the pipe. <laughs> yeah, he's too tall. We'll figure out a way for Chino to do it. Yeah, impressive. Good boy. It's because he's been home just long enough to get back into like this mentality. Okay, on, All right, horse number two. Cheeto won, and I did not think that he would be the winner. Win? I mean, so far he didn't even have any reaction. Well, Will is obviously gonna have a reaction. Yeah, she is not happy. My horse hasn't even come in. Come on. Okay. Good girl, yeah. Good girl, Willem. She doesn't like this kind of thing. She likes something. I think she does good with everything you throw at her. Yeah. Wow. See if you'll, she'll run through it. She knows still doing good. So my my horse is gonna lose her. My horse is gonna lose. Good girl, she ducked. All right, Gracie's turn. So far, Chino's still the winner, I think. Oh, he just walked right up to it. Gracie walked right up. Gracie, Palomino for the win. Oh, you should have let her smell it. Yeah, Gracie. Yeah, so far, my horse could win. My horse could win. Yeah, say something. <laughs> People think Sophie's being sassy, but really that's how we talk to each other. We are so sarcastic. Uh oh, she dropped her phone. Try running her under it and then I'm gonna get my horse. Oh, look at him. He loves it. Barely a flinch, but they all duck going under it. All right. I really want to walk my own horse and I need somebody to film. Can you do it? No, I feel like my horse responds to me the best. But I think she loves me the best. So they need a leader? I think she looks to me to be the leader the best. No. Look at how handsome he is. Oh my gosh, that would be such a good photo. You are so handsome. We need to cut these things off because I don't want anybody poking themselves in the eye. All right, she watch out. Orange. Watch out, here comes the beast. She might do it because she loves it. Yeah, good, good boy, you are such a handsome beast. So chubby. I think we're doing the right thing with his feet. I already see a difference in him. The way he flies around the field now. Yeah. Okay, uh oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me get away from any wild horses. She noticed. Those ears came right forward. Don't let her smell. Don't just walk her through. The tail is flying up. You're a good girl. Yeah, see, she wants to come to me. Come on. Yeah. No, just leave Chino. He's okay. She's like, why are you in my... No. She's looking to him. Good girl. Tell me about the balloons, she says. She's more interested in Chino than the balloons. Gabby, put that thing down and don't cause any problems. I know you're going to hit your head off the balloon and you're going to kill yourself. Yeah, so she might not be able to fit underneath it either. She will. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, you got Good sticks girl. in your hair. Sticks. Okay, Were you under the trees? Good girl. Yeah, she was in a tree. She was in a tree? You were in a tree? Good girl. Good girl. Let's be circle. All right, Penny, come on. Here, now let me try it. Sam, come over here and film me. Time. Can I try one more time? Duck your head. Come on. Come on. You can't stand in the way. Come on, Pen. She went through it and the 
camera wasn't on. I thought I had the camera on. She went through it. She went through really good. She knew to lower her head. Good girl. There, that was even better. Good girl, yeah. All right. She always looks to me. See, she wants to come to me. You gotta take her around and run again. Let me try, let me try. Girl, oh, way better. Way better. Yeah, way better. No scooting there. I know, she kept looking for me. It's like the kids are worried. Like once you see your mom fall and break on the ground, like you're so protective, I feel like. And nobody believes like that she loves me so much and she looks to me, but I can see her. Thank you. <laughs> I can see her looking to me like, you take me, you take me. Okay. emotional I feel so emotional watching Chino and Gabby so I feel emotional watching him like want to work with her it's the first time I've ever seen him like excited about this but it might be like the first time it's not the first time we've done stuff like this with him but I feel like that his head is in such a good mental space right now and it makes me like so super emotional <laughs> and this horse is just a freaking miracle. And I felt so emotional when Penny chose me. Like all of them went underneath him without a halter, so <laughs> we yeah. lost Penny Pickle. All, work all right, you work your magic with Penny. But I think it's clear that she loves okay. me best. She's looking ready. <laughs> I'm not losing the spotlight, she says. Oh. I love him at home. Oh, Penny's like, oh no. See, she feels nervous. Like that's that's a lot to have balloons rushing up against your body. Like that that's amazing. Oh yeah, he doesn't even care. He just walks right through it. I can still see like where he's slightly sensitive for his feet, but that he's doing amazing. But anyway, I felt emotional because I felt Penny choose me and then I felt her say I love you to me and it was just amazing. Yeah! She, Sophie, you are, you are, it's not just Willow, it's Sophie. She is magical with horses. Remember, Penny was like a, a trail horse. She was a mountain trail horse. She probably didn't come across a lot of balloons in her life.
sometimes it seems like because I'm the one that has to film, it's harder for me to get to do the things that I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, this is so emotional for me. One well, popped balloon really though. Popped. One popped balloon and it's all over. <laughs> no, I'll pop one. No, next don't time. pop one. I'll pop one next to Gina. I know, I can hear the viewer you saying, pop the balloon. <laughs> yeah, police horse training. Police horse training. training. I know, I saw through Gracie's big butt. Gracie, Gracie, come here, sweet girl. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, oh, watch your horse. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. He's gonna come. Or he's gonna pop a balloon and all hell is gonna break loose. He might pop <laughs> Just takes one pop for. balloon for our amazing little experience. Uh oh, he is going for them. Oh, don't let him bite them. Okay. Oh, and the pee comes again. She's definitely in heat. <laughs> I had my suspicions, but she's so calm. Usually she's not calm when she's in heat. Yep. But she only is interested in Chino when she's in heat. Chino's like, oh, you're right. She is in heat. <laughs> Oh, no wonder he's so happy. He's like, I'm here with all the girls. That was fun. We need more things like this to do. Honestly, I don't know why I felt so emotional. I like, it was just that minute where Penny like was looking at me and was like, you do it. And then I felt like sorry for myself because being like the filmer and it just creates this situation where I'm trying to like do the filming and then it's hard to have a horse and be the mom and it's not just filming either. I, I, I hear so many women say like after taking care of the family, they hardly get time to ride or to do the stuff they want to do. But even through all that, I just was so emotional knowing that she chose me and was like wanting me to do it. Even though she's out there peeing everywhere so that Chino can find her. It's what you do. heat she always pees down her leg and I'm always worried it's gonna get I'm always worried it's gonna get sore so I'm always like having to come out and scrub her don't you know that you're beautiful